dog can hold, take their prey underneath the water. もう行ってみようか。そうそいけないから。うん。ダンスしたの。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス。ダンス
気をつけてね、たまくん。ここはね。もう喧嘩すんな。The tree size of this animal. Hopefully, he's going to jump up and um, give us a bit of croc action. But over to my left, we do have Jackie, and Jackie's job is pretty important today, I must say, because she has three crocodiles that she needs to keep a very close eye on. She needs to feed them if they want to be fed, and she has to break up any crocodile fights that might happen throughout the show. And being female crocodiles, when food's involved, they can be pretty aggressive towards each other, but we are hoping that everyone is going to be very well behaved today. Now, just before we do get started, Mel, because you will notice she is the only one right in front of that feed station, and the other girls are pretty much as far away as they can possibly get from her. So what happened was, um, Pinocchio, last winter, she fed throughout the whole entire winter. The other girls weren't interested in food, which is not uncommon. So she grew a little bit bigger and put on a little bit more weight than the other girls, and she knows it. So she knows she's got the dominance over them. If they even try to come over to this island, she chases them away. They are absolutely terrified of her. So she's kind of like the queen of this lagoon. Now, other female crocodiles we do have Miss Piggy, who is just underneath the boardwalk here, and Starface, who's just over here. These girls will probably pretty hot. Because so they are going to be a little bit hungry today. Nice warm couple of days, bit of a storm yesterday. So we will jump over and feed them at the end of the show. But the one that I think we're all pretty keen to see is definitely the male. Let's see what sort of mood he's in today. Come on, buddy. Come around. And just like that, he pretty much disappeared. All right. Pretty impressive looking drop. And I must say, probably the most common question I get asked about this animal is how old is he? Now, if I told you guys an age of this crocodile, I would be making it up. I actually have no idea how old he is. I can tell you the females are 12 years old. They came to us from a crocodile farm. The reason why I don't know his age happens they can learn behaviours. So it didn't take long for Babinda to realise if he hangs around the boat ramp, people are coming in from their day out fishing and they're throwing their fish traps into the water. He just has to sit there and wait and he gets a nice easy feed. So he started to associate the boats with food. He started to approach people. He was getting really, really close. And to be honest, it probably would have just taken for one person to buy for a big male slot water 
crocodile. Can you have it this time, buddy? Come on. Come on. You're being a bit slack. Very slack today. Come around here. I didn't even attempt. <laughs> It's his last day of being fed today, so he doesn't get fed until Friday. So you better take it, buddy. There we go. Oh, he threw it off. You'll find that somewhere, hopefully. Now when it comes to the crocodiles, that water is potentially food for these guys. And it is also where the females do prefer to nest. So that is where they do prefer to hang out. Now, the difference between the two species that we get here in Australia, the salties and the freshies, they are both true, a true crocodile. So it's not too many differences. But he would weigh around 500 kilograms. So yes, he is a big animal, but he's still got some growing to do. He's still under the average size for a male saltwater croc. Four and a half to five meters is an average. And hearing this, these guys are what we call an opportunistic feeder. They've been doing this for about 250 million years. So guys, if you don't want to be attacked by a crocodile while you're up here in the north, simply don't give them that opportunity. All right, I do have one last bit of chicken. I'm going to feed out to the big boy now. So get your cameras ready if you didn't get a photo or a video. I will make it. Come on. So that um, sound of his jaws there, guys, that is what we call a jaw pop and that is just the air escaping from the jaws there. So these guys have got the hardest biting jaw pressure of any animal on the planet. Uh, has been reported at 3,700 pounds per square inch. That is why he does not need to have sharp teeth because that pressure of the jaws is gonna drive those teeth straight into the prey. They are designed to interlock and hold, take their prey underneath the water and drown it. Come on.
私はのわらびかわいい。